All right, so we're gonna go out here today and we're gonna throw nothing but crankbaits. And why are we gonna do that? Because A, it's fun. B, I think we got the right conditions. And my man over here, Noah, is not a big crankbait aficionado yet. Not yet. Yet. So what we're gonna do, uh, it's in the spring. It is say mid-March, late March. Water, we've had some, some warm weather. Water temperatures jumped up four or five degrees. It's probably the third warm day in a row. Um, yesterday had good sun, it was warm, real warm. Day before that had some sun and was warm. Today, a little more cloudy, a little more cloudy action. So I see, you know, this might be a good day for us to kind of to get this deal going as you can see it, the water's kind of stained it's kind of getting to be a little bit green up here two days ago it was considerably more stained what happens up here this is smith mountain lake what happens up here is that when you get a big rain that that dirty water will push down and then that water that that water will will disperse down the the river and there'll there'll be a i don't know two to eight mile maybe even 10 or 15 miles sometimes section of dirt dirty water it'll be clear on the opposite side and then what happens is on this roanoke river the roanoke river will wash uh, clean water behind it and push push out that that dirty water until it just disperses and then it all gets kind of kind of clean again so we're going to go run down we're just going to go ahead and run down a little bit until we see what the uh where that where that line is and you look here look here Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna go over here on this side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. So we're prepared for kind of different colors. Noah's got him a couple, couple cranking crickets as well. <laughs> and as you can see, he he found him a little tiny cricket to throw because <laughs> I told him I said no, no spinning rods. And he said why not? And I said you don't need one. And he said what if I throw a real real small crankbait? And I said okay, maybe. So we're gonna get after it. All right, so we ran down the lake for a little ways and there was not as much dirty water as I was thinking there would be. So we just we ran down just a couple miles and then we got right into the the green clear water we're going to go ahead and start in the back of this this pocket here usually the fish are not as much on the um, main channel this time of year so we're just going to start in this pocket with the clear water fish around a little bit and then uh, probably get back into that dirty water start somewhere, right? Yeah. There he is. A little one. I think it might be a... Got him a little wiper. <laughs> little baby wiper. Giant. Be a big catfish. A little big striper. This thing's not a bass. Whatever this is, it's grown. Holy crap. Jesus. It's a big something. <laughs> something big. I don't know, but it's big. Woo. I think it's a big catfish. Good lord, it's heavy. <laughs> rolling now definitely a catfish yeah. on the rock Holy crawler crap. yeah he thumped it like a big old bass there's no telling how big this sucker is got my caching all bowed up <laughs> holy crap what 
get carpal tunnel syndrome trying to reel this thing. There it is. Oh my god. That thing is huge. I'm not a biologist, but I think that's what it is. Look at it. Look at oh, you gotta take a picture of that thing. Look at this beast. Get it in. That thing is massive. Trying to stretch my old shine line. Get my old crankbait back. Holy crap. Look at this thing. You gotta weigh it. Dinosaur. I know. It looks like it. Not done yet. Nope. Well, that thing's not coming out. Yeah, right. <laughs> that thing went gulp. Yep. Gotta make sure I can get it. <laughs> Big catfish. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this baby. Come here. Hang on it. Is it like his gill plate shut? Yeah, I'll get it. Got him. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big old catfish right there. Oh, I'm gonna stop look, the video. Look, get down in there. Get down in there. Look. I'm a rock crawler. Jeez. I don't know if I can get it in there. Oh, I can get it out. Trauma team. Oop, almost. Oop, got it. Got it. Let's see what it weighs. Yeah, we gotta get weigh the, it. Get the uh, scales out of the seat. Let's see what she weighs. Here, do you want to? I'll tell you what she weighs. Oh my. What's it weigh? 2012. 20 pounder. <laughs> That's insane. All right, baby. Look at that. There Took off like a rocket. All right, so we started off. We started off in this pocket and worked around here. We caught fish, but not what we're looking for. Had a brim, small brim to start. Noah caught him a small striper with a striplet, I think is what they're called. And then I caught a massive catfish, which was fun, although not what we were looking for. And I think what had what's happened is that we just got we got past where the dirty water is. My guess is the water was dirty down here, but it, it's starting to clear back up. Sometimes on, on this lake, they pump back on the weekends. And I'm wondering if they didn't pump back this week, uh, like yesterday, and push the, the clean water back up the river a little ways. I'm wondering if this wasn't dirty before and so now it's now it's clearing up a little bit to where there's still bait fish in here and there's definitely still stripers in here going after it but the bass are a little timid you know sometimes when it's dirty and then it gets clear real quick kind of freaks them out a little bit so we're going to run up and get back into some of that dirtier water and see if we can't get some of the old green lip action It's a green one. It is. Yep. First bass of the day. There you go. Stay oh. oh yeah, we got him. We got him. He's not very big, but back here in the back of this back of this creek. Bread of but he's close to 14 inches, maybe.
one. What? Nice. Magnum. Nice. We are multi species anglers. <laughs> uh huh. That's what old homegirl and homeboy in that other pocket were looking for. Crappy. Mm hmm. That's why, he couldn't, that's why he couldn't get bowed up. <laughs> See ya, craps. A Bust the haps head. on the craps, bro. <laughs> We've came back up to the, to the more stained water. We fished a couple pockets, caught a couple small largemouth, but not not what we're after not not yet a lot of boat traffic as you can see a lot of boat wakes boat just went by right now uh, a couple of places we wanted to stop and fish was uh occupied by the other anglers so we're just gonna gonna keep bouncing around up here in this little more stained water see if we can't dial something in we've come out here to the main channel and trying some stuff here not as many pockets um up this up this river so we're just gonna keep keep plugging along ain't that right that's right do it. Right on the rocks where you're supposed to be. A little release. I thought it was a little bigger than that. <laughs> little dinker. Little dinker. Little John MD. Another wiggler. <laughs> On the board. We're getting all the little ones, that's for sure. Right, we'll figure, we'll get a little something to it. Maybe we'll get us a key bite. Just bleed. Put them back in. Yeah, you'll be all right. Baby fat John this time. And we're gonna get into the better ones here sometime. <laughs> I don't know when, but we will. We just keep knocking around. This one was up pretty shallow. When I hit it, I thought it was gonna be a big one, but he was not. So we'll just keep plugging. All right, so we uh, got a little, a little sun, changing conditions. Clouds are kind of clearing out. It's starting to warm up a little bit and all we've been catching is small ones so far so we're gonna run back down a little ways and try to get into the back of some creeks to find more isolated stained water so to speak i know of a couple areas down down the lake should be like that we're gonna go down there and try to try to find that and see if we can't catch some bigger bigger fish all these dinks so far have been uh, just basically reel them in and put them in your pocket because they're sardines. <laughs> he's not quite a keeper. He's close though. He's close. But we got over here to the uh, blind man's workshop, <laughs> wood shop. Got another another little guy. Another little guy. We'll put him on the board. There he goes. Man, we are plugging and plugging and plugging, and we were just complaining heavily about 
the lack of wind and sun, which they were not calling for. And about the time we feel a puff of wind and a cloud came in. So we're hoping more clouds are coming and more wind is coming to get us on a little crankbait bite. But we're gonna, we, we pulled out and fished a little bit deeper and we're gonna we're expand more on that. We're still in a little bit of stained water in this one creek. We're gonna go back out and look for some some kind of secondary points, places where they'll you know be staging to go back into different you know like to little spawning pockets and stuff like that. And I'm I'm, th I'm thinking maybe we'll get a little action there. I got a spot picked out on my my eyes on my low rants over here. Maybe that'll be the spot. We'll go check it out. Skin. Yeah, I was gonna like always grab them like yeah, that if you can. Yeah. Yeah. If it's like that, don't grab them in the mouth. Do you want me to? Just go ahead and get them out. I'll I'll go ahead and hold them. He ain't going nowhere. Got them on the lock. Pliers right here. All right. Got him. Oh, maybe. Almost got him. Got him. A pound and a half, or a pound and three quarters. We're getting, we're getting bigger. Getting something. bit later and we're gonna go hit one more spot see if we can't catch us one uh, that last little last little spell I thought I was thought we were gonna get back into some more but that was it now hopefully we can uh, go catch a last minute lunker in this last spot we're gonna go to um, we tried kind of every depth out on the main channel worked our way all the way to the backs um, really not not any kind of pattern because we haven't caught enough decent fish to, to kind of build on anything yet so we'll just go get a go get one more spot hopefully we get lucky and then we'll talk about it God. Yes, sir. Look how fat that one is. Holy smokes. Woo. That thing is fat. All day. 
<laughs> you freaking work all day and then you have a little action like that at the end of the day look here's the one he caught here's mine probably could have ate him <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness jeez that's a hammer get this good lighting right here yes wait chump hell yeah See what she weighs. I think it's right. A little over four. Yep. Four. Four, four. Four, four. Four, four. Yeah, boy. Finally, caught us a big one. Right at the end of the day, caught us a 4-4, fat belly 4-4, old fat belly Kelly 4-4, and the crankbait paid off, little John MD. Uh, we just we just kept at it. We ended up catching, I think it was 15 fish total. So we caught a bunch of fish, me and Noah, and had a good time. I was a little frustrated because I didn't, we didn't catch any better ones earlier, and I really thought we were gonna catch more better ones, but that's the way it goes sometimes. I uh, definitely learned uh, learned a few things about about the lake, about cranking in general, and hopefully you picked up a few different pointers as well. If you got anything to, you want any questions, you want to hit down in the comment section. Uh, go ahead and hit me up. But uh, we just you know, all we're just gonna crank all day and stick with it. We didn't want it, you know. That's why we only threw crankbaits today, and ended up having a good time. 